New York Anime Fest. My name is Tia, and who am I here with? Uh, my name's April Flores. I'm a publicist with Delray Manga. Oh, okay. So tell me, what are you guys doing here? Well, um, this is a big show for us. This is our second year here. It's the second year of the convention, and we made a really huge announcement the other day about our partnership with Cartoon Network. We're going to be publishing film comics of both Bakugan and Ben 10, which are huge properties for Cartoon Network. Um, we'll be coming out with original black and white um, English manga in summer and fall 2009, so it's big news to keep out for. Um, other than that, we're having a great show. Um, we have a lot of popular titles coming out. One of the most popular that actually went on sale recently is a manga called Phoenix Wright, the official casebook, and it's based on the really popular Nintendo DS video game. So just for a little bit of added fun, we've created um, stress gavels for Phoenix Wright, so if anyone wants to play around and say objection, which is the key phrase for the video game, we've got the gavels to go along with it. But um, they're yeah. so adorable. They're good just to have around, like, you know, regardless of whether you're playing the video game or not. We like to have little fun things for our um, you know, fans and our clients and stuff like that. So um, we also have a couple of big announcements with um, Kodansha, which is our Japanese partner. Um, we've announced a couple of new titles, including a character guide for Tsubasa, which is a popular manga by Clamp. Um, we have a really cool manga called Moyashimon that's about bacteria that are really cute and can talk, which is different for us, but um, we got a really great response from the fans at the convention when we announced it, so we're looking forward to that. And as you can see, everyone's having a really great time. We're having a fantastic time, and we hope to kind of repeat the same experience over again next year. Well, that sounds really great. I hope everyone can look forward to this. It's really awesome. So um, anything else you'd like to say? Um, just as a shout out to all of our fans, like we're really grateful to have you guys here supporting us and we'll do our best to keep you guys happy. And I think everyone else is glad that you're here too. All right, we look forward to it and thank you. See you later. Hi, we're here with Adam of Funimation and we just like to talk about what's going on with Funimation now. Oh, we're having an exciting time here at New York Anime Fest. We're actually out here promoting one of our new shows, Claymore. We've actually been out here with the director, the, some of the voice talent from it, signing autographs, doing some screenings and panels, showing off our new prop sword, which we've been around the whole nation. Uh, we've also been really excited about um, premiering the first three episodes of a show called Dark Urban Black with the director and voice actors here from that as well. And we just finished that, and the fan feedback from it was fantastic. What's better way to say that? So between those two shows and a little show called Oran High School Host Club, which every big anime fan's really into, we screened that. It was like the Beatles were in the room, just screaming girls nonstop. So it worked out fantastic for us. So between those three big shows, we've had a fantastic time here. Hi, my name is Anatsuki from the Maid Cafe. I'm here at Anime Fest with... Toshifumi Yoshida, producer at Bondi Entertainment. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the new projects that are coming out in America from Bondi. Well, um, I can not really, really talk about the shows that I'm doing myself. Uh, the main one being Grand Lagan, uh, which came out in subtitled form starting in July, but the bilingual version is starting to come out in November, and it's also airing on the Sci-Fi Channel right now. So with Grand Lagan, um, how long was the process um, of producing and releasing it on DVD? Uh, well, I mean, it was licensed back in April because another company had originally licensed it but lost the license, so we got it out really quickly. So there was nothing like coming to a new company back in April saying, hey Toshi, here's your new brand new show. You're three months behind schedule because we're releasing in July. And then, oh by the way, we're gonna have it on TV at the end of July. So it was like, it hit the ground, had to hit the ground running with this new company, but thankfully I had some experience behind me. And yeah, um, I think we've got a great show, and I really look forward to have it coming out in the bilingual, subtitled, and dub format. Um, will, you be, will there be more um, animes from Bandai, such as Haruhi and... Of course. There will always be new titles from Bandai. Um, will, they always, will they be put on TV, such as Haruhi or in Lucky Star? Um, I would love to see everything we do come out on, on TV. But, you know, there's so many titles and so many time slots. I hope to see a lot more Bondi titles on the air. I don't know which ones will they'll be, and I hope I get to work on them. <laughs> That's really awesome. Thank you for talking to me. Okay, we're here at New York Anime Fest, and my name is Tia, and we are here with, who are you? Kurt Hassler. I'm the co-publishing director of Yen Press. Okay, that's great. So can you tell me what we're doing here? Uh, well, we're here for the New York Anime Festival, obviously. It's been a huge, largely successful show. You can hear the excitement in the background, I'm sure. 
and Yen Press in particular is here uh, to debut our new series, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. All the otaku out there will be eagerly awaiting this, and it's publishing next month. Okay, that sounds really interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about the series? Uh, the series is about, uh, the main character is a young man named Kyon, who uh, sort of tired of his boring high school existence until he meets Haruhi Suzumiya, who sort of turns his world upside down. She's obsessed with finding extraordinary things like aliens, time travelers, espers, and it ultimately turns out that she is herself extraordinary in that she can sort of change reality based on her own whims. Oh, wow, that sounds really fascinating. Can you also tell me about some other series that you're going to put out? Absolutely. Uh, we are currently publishing a monthly anthology called Yen Plus. Uh, it contains a lot of very popular series like Soul Eater, Higurashi, Bamboo Blade, Sumomomo. Uh, it's had a huge, huge fan excitement since it published and we're going to start publishing those trade paperbacks in the near future. Okay, that sounds great. So before we go, is there anything else that you'd like to say for us? Uh, just want to say thank you for all your support of Yen Press. We look forward to bringing you some great new properties in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, we're signing out from the Cafe at New York Anime Festival 2008. Bye-bye!